Around the Paul Quinn College campus, crews are busy and the community is noticing signs of significant change. The plan was to bring people back to a completely transformed experience. President Michael Sorrell took us on a mini tour around Paul Quinn, highlighting some of the transformation this HBCU is experiencing right now. This little area right down here is going to become an amphitheater. Steps away, the Trammell Crow Living and Learning Center is the school's first new building in over 40 years. This loft style residence hall will be home away from home for students attending one of the country's premier work colleges. It's so exciting. Nearby, a brand new health and wellness center is nearly completed. Crews are putting finishing touches on its new gym. Marquita Mitchell is a member of Paul Quinn's class of 2013. Paul Quinn is my safe haven. Uh, it changed me. And that's not it. The college's commitment to its connection with community continues. In August, Dallas ISD will open the Dr. Frederick Douglass Haynes Global Academy in this building on campus. Kip Oakcliffe High School is also moving onto this campus in January. So you're starting to see a larger vision than just the college campus. Paul Quinn's academic program is also expanding. We have a brand new major in banking and finance. That major is part of the college's anti-poverty crusade. There's also a new partnership and major with the Dallas Mavericks. Which will focus on leadership, innovation, sports management, technology. It's rumored some Mavs executives will be serving as adjunct professors in that program. Lowe's is helping create a retail management center, and the college is also looking to add graduate studies with the Bishop T.D. Jakes Executive MBA program. In Dallas, I'm Damon Fernandez.